In today's video, I am going to be breaking down different low post basketball moves for the power forwards who are out there. So right off the bat, I want to say that power forwards doesn't just mean the four man, it also means the three man, the small forward, mainly because the, the forward position in general is basically getting generalized across essentially three to four positions when it comes to shooting guards all the way down to centers. And we're going to see more and more of that coming into the near future. So what I'm going to be really focusing on today is the forwards who are cutting baseline who are then getting the ability to get that ball into the low post but also for the forwards who are maybe playing that horns offense or maybe that four out one in where they do a high cut across the free throw line and basically posting up from the free throw line and also posting up from the low post. So in your team's offense, if you are cutting along the baseline or in the Russian spot and you're popping out to the low post and you get that ball, what you want to do is this first move is very simple and that is just to go up turn for that hook shot you can turn left you can also turn right as well now sometimes depending on where you are when it comes to the backboard turning baseline is not going to be the easiest way to be able to score plus your momentum is generally bringing you towards that left side anyways now this is going to be a progression we're not just going to be talking about a simple baby hook from the low post. That's our first move. Now what happens if you have a player who is trailing you super close? Let's say that maybe that double screen or that screen that you may have used to cut baseline didn't work let's say your man stayed with you but you still got that ball in that low post well you could turn up if that man jumps into the air you can do almost like an up and under and go up with your left hand and then the next progression from that is to get that ball baby hook if he doesn't jump turn dribble back over this way and then take your shot there now you may be asking well what happens if my team plays a three out two in offense and i go from the high post down to the low post. What are some moves that I can do that are super simple that I can get my man up into the air to be able to essentially get an easy basket? So in those type of offenses, you'll be most likely heading from the high post down into the low post from the same side. Or sometimes what happens is you'll be on this high post over here and you'll be crossing down because now that center who was on the other side will be going to the other side and now you'll be in the low post what are some moves that we can do out of this action well first off is something that they've sort of kind of outlawed and that is the swim move so if you've got a defender here you can swim over top and then box them out now they've actually disallowed that move recently since I, ever since i was in about college and on they basically stopped that move from being allowed why i i don't know but you can still go across their shoulders over top of their shoulders and then box out and then basically have your forearm go across the side of their head without hitting them does that make any sense why they would outlaw, out, outlaw a swim move versus basically a reach around who knows it seems like the reach around would to me seem to get more contact but either way they've outlawed it and now you've got yourself positioned here in the low post so what are some things that we can do well, one move that I really like to do is, of course, when you get that ball, is to hop out, land on both feet, get at least to the first hash mark, and about two to three feet out from the key. This will give you areas to operate from. And the first move is just a simple turn around and shot. We can use that move to our advantage because now we can come out, get that ball, turn, shot. Now, if the defender is good and he's staying close to you, you can use that to your advantage as well, which means that after we get this ball, if we turn, we go to shoot, but the guy is like literally right on us, take that shot fake, one dribble, one, two, baby hook in the middle and hopefully make that shot.
Now you're probably asking, okay, well, what about the high post? If I have to go from the low post to the high post in my offense, what are some post moves that I can do from here? This is going to be still a post style move that you could use, but you really have to know where your defenders are because what's gonna happen is in the high post, by getting that ball here, yes, you can draw up the middle defender in a 2-3 zone, but you're also gonna have potentially a wing defender, whether it be a 3-2 or a 2-3, coming down and potentially double teaming you. So you have to make this move really quick. So when you get this ball, if you know, for example, that you're gonna be getting this pass, have this right foot already wrapped around your defender, especially if he's right here, you can turn and then of course have an easy lane to the basket. This is what of course Shaq would call the Shaq NATO. He used to do this in the low post, but you can do this in the high post as well. You can also do this if your defender's on this side, which is a no-no for defense, but you get that ball, you already have this foot behind your player. You turn, you can even use your elbow if you wanted to lock out that player. And of course you have an open lane to the basket once more. Now, after you've used that move a few times, you're gonna have a defender who will just start sagging off of you. He doesn't wanna be beat all the time. Now, the reason why a defender wouldn't wanna be beat is because he'd be benched in two seconds. So, what you can do now is once you figure out that, hey, he's starting to lay off me, what you can do is now get that ball, land on both feet so you can go essentially either direction. But what you can do here is now, if he's still playing you on this side, you can do a quick drop step with a dribble, turn, that's your first step, second step, and then you're gonna go up. Obviously, this is going to be a left hand, right foot move, which goes against the basics of a layup, but this is actually very, very effective. And of course, whatever you do on one side, you can also do on the other by dropping one, two, and then going up. Obviously, these moves will also work for centers as well. I hope that this video has helped you become a better forward or a low post player. If it has, hit that like button and subscribe, and I'll see you guys again next time.